Not many teens would choose to spend their Saturday morning doing yard work, but a group of high school football players jumped at the opportunity to help a fan in need. 3 News Now reporter Ron Johnson takes us over to Red Oak with the story. The Red Oak Tigers are all about teamwork, both on the field and off. On a Saturday morning, these guys aren't sleeping in. Instead, they're getting to work clearing brush, leaves, and just sprucing up Dennis Jones's yard. I've been worried about my yard and my, all that stuff since uh, spring started up, and I usually have this yard pretty well taken care of. Jones, who lives with his wife here in Red Oak, takes pride in keeping his lawn in order, but recent events have made it difficult. We've been uh, uh, dealing with a lot of uh, health issues with my wife and stuff since February, and and uh, she's not quite over it all yet right now. So I was trying to figure out, well, when am I gonna, when am I gonna find time to do all this? And Jones's daughters work with the team's coach to organize a team cleanup. The whole thing a surprise for Jones. I'm just totally shocked and totally appreciative of this. It's no surprise for head coach Michael Nordine, who makes community service a priority. Since March 24th, we've had 250 hours of community service that our football program has provided for our community. Whatever we can do to help, you know, we're trying to build championship people uh, and brighten our future for uh, Red Oak. And for the team members, community is what it's all about. Being there for those who are there for them, as well as being there for each other. They came out and helped us, came out and supported us throughout the whole year, so it feels kind of good to come out and help them a little bit. So we're the family, if one person, you know, texts the group, chat, like, hey, we got, we got some community service, everyone will chip in, and we're just, we're always there for each other, always looking out for each other. In Red Oak, Ron Johnson, 3 News Now. Coach Nordine says the Jones family has deep roots in the Red Oak football community. Dennis's daughter Brandy was the first female football player at the high school. The team also cleaned out the Jones' backyard pool just in time for the summer.